Ding dong. Bing bong. Gamers know what that sound means. It's, it means. It's time for teen murder. It's time to move the camera because it's in the wrong. I even like tried. I was like, <laughs> I think this is going to be right. And then it never. Never. It never is right. I need to do something with my hair. You it's should uh, dye it green. And well, then I don't know shave about that. the sides and do like the, the spiky mullet that like. I can't pull that off. I'm too. You don't know until you I'm try. I'm too buttoned up for that. But unfortunately, if you cool if you me. try and you can't, then you're kind of in a bad position. Yeah. You really commit when you do that look. Welcome to the game stream. Welcome. We're, we're back playing. This still feels like it's too hot. You need to see what's above my head. You don't need to worry about what's above my head, okay? Worry about what's above your own head. Oh, I gotta turn the mics up. Jesus God. Jesus Christ. Okay, mics are up. Volume on voices is louder. Everything should be good now. If only I could do things good the first time, instead of waiting until I'm live on stream to do everything. It happens. It happens. It happens. Uh, we're back with Danganronpa. If you haven't Dang been here Rampa. before, or if you have been here before, you see this content warning up at the top, the mature themes sensitive material. Uh, this game has a lot of teens getting murdered in it. It also has some very dated views oh, yeah. of sexuality and gender. Yep. And I think specifically in this chapter, I've been warned that there is some, some transgender mm -hmm. representation that is less than ideal. Less than ideal. <laughs> A little less than ideal. So if you think that that kind of thing is going to bother you, um, this might be a good one to sit out of. But I mean, it's, also, it's also gonna be really like stupid. And we're gonna be making fun of it, and we're not endorsing it whatsoever. Of course, but, yes. You know. We'll we'll be sure to call out the things that are bad as they happen, while still enjoying the silly, dumb uh, teen murder party game. Uh, special thanks to Onsta, who just raided us Whoa! with a party of sixteen. Thank you so much, Thank Onsta. Thank you. Um, and we got a lot of subs, so I'm gonna say some of those. Osaka Starling, Nate G. Joe. Copper Catnip and Igneous Fox. Nugget Mabry Loves Unions. Basilisk King of Serpents. Babalpert. 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 Labster Gifted Five Subs. Trigger Mort Gifted Five Subs. King Rewind Sub. Fluferoni. Frank and Babe gave out 10 subs. Lady Applesauce raided us. Hand Horse a Horse with Hands <laughs> subscribed. Adrian B. Cluster Funks. Lady Applesauce. Excuse me. Slam Dunking Benedetto. Sinaya, Durable Deer gifted a sub. Slam Dunking Benedetto Dado gave out 10 subs. Thank you so much. Durable Deer subbed themselves. And then we got subs from Cow Chip, Superhuman Foods, Kitty Coran, Captain Mustachio, Good Bee, and Jershan. Thank you all so much. Dingus Ringus? I just noticed that you wrote Dingus Ringus on the screen. It's Dingus Ringus. Dingus Ringus, huh? It's my favorite game, Dingus Ringus. Anywho. Thank you, I want to believe, and oh, Papa Beans, and Sub Octave for the subs. Thank you very much. Again, if you got to sit this one out, it's... What? Come... Ah, how? What the hell was that? Joy. She, she wanted to come up, and I don't think she knew come her here. own. I don't think she knew her own claws. She just came over, screamed at me, and then put all of her claws into my thigh and pulled my jeans in several spots. I love these pair of pants. They're gonna have little holes, and that's what the hell? part of living with cats. What's your deal? Oh my god, she sees a ghost. What's going on? Uh oh, she's on the hunt. She sees something. Anyway. Um, if you guys sit this one out, that's fine. Uh, uh, Jamie wrote that this chapter in particular is a rough one. So, yes. you know. And we got all the mods posting the link of warnings and stuff. So read through that. If you need to sit out, that's fine. And if you start watching and then halfway through are like, actually I'm uncomfortable and need to dip out, that's fine too. We get it. But also for uh, the sake of like everyone else and for us, 
Um, if if that is you, it's cool to dip, but let everyone else like have a stupid fun time too. You yeah. Know? Uh, it's fine to go, it's fine to stay. We just want to have a nice fun time joking around about a dumb game. Making fun of the dumb, outdated things. Yes, correct. So. I can't believe how much you dug into my thigh. Labster gifted 10 more subs. What Thank you so you? much, Labster. Thank you very much. Hot diggity dog shit. Dang it, now she's sitting on your mouse. Hi, Joy. Joy, don't lay there. Do not lay there. She's Do gonna not lay there. Lay there. Except <laughs> Olive is attacking from under your sedate. I have to use the mouse. No, well, you can't now because there's two cats. Look at I just this. see a paw. <laughs> ah! Oh my god. Oh no. There's oh no. Move your beard. Oh god. Olive, what just happened? What'd you do? Can you go? Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Thank you so much. <laughs> Brutal combat. What the hell this is, is going this on? This is the stuff we were warning about. This is the trigger warnings. Yeah. Brutal combat. Yeah. Showcased on this stream. Uh, okay, let's get into it, why don't we? Let's. There's the Steam page for the game. Here's the game. Oh, R.I.P. Junko. R.I.P. Junko. She made the title screen, but didn't make past chapter one. Past life. Past living. Load game. Load game. Past the ripe old age of like 15 Continue. or whatever they are in this Load game. Load game. Continue. Load game. Continue. Uh, I think it's a free, it's a free day. How can this game be evil with this peppy song? The songs are some real bop ass songs. Uh, to catch anyone up who may have missed earlier streams, the premise of this game is we were going to a school for gifted students, but then instead passed out and woke up in a school that we're all locked in and we have to murder each other. Mm -hmm. um, the only way to get out of the school is to murder someone and get away with it. Yes. So our sort of task in the school is when a murder happens and it's gonna, we got to figure out which person did the murder because if you pick wrong, everybody dies. So it's stakes are high. Stakes have never been higher. Here's a question though, Jacob, that I have. Yeah. Um, what happened with Sayaka? But where's Sayaka? But where's Sayaka? Uh, there's already been several deaths. Um, that dude got dead by baseball. Yeah, baseball boy got dead by baseball. And Junko now, got speared. There's a lot of things you never know what's going to happen here in Dangan Rampa schools. Who else died? Sayaka. Sayaka died, Junko died, and then baseball boy Leon died. Yeah. Okay. Um, so there's going to be more death and there's going to be some more bad opinions again. I'm going to check the dang Do we want to hang out with Celeste? Do we want to hang out with Celeste? She, she kinda, I'm oh, not I, hanging I out with Toko. Toko. Fuck Toko. I kind of like Celeste. She's sort of like a... Weirdo? She's a weirdo, but she's very realistic about our situation. That's fair. All you right. You know, I kind of dig that. Why won't you hang out with Kyoko is my question. Uh, you want me to hang out? I thought I did hang out with Kyoko. What you got against Kyoko? I don't... Okay, so Kyoko's in 2B. Why don't we go to the machine? Try to roll up some Kyoko gifts. Oh, let me pull up that spoiler-free... Oh my god. I'm gonna do the spoiler free gift guide. <laughs> Those are some pretty good sounds, gotta say. Spoiler free survivor season rankings. That's what we need. I need the survivor season rankings. I don't need Danganronpa 2. For some reason that was the map zoom in sound. That's very funny. I think I need to probably lower the game's volume a tad. I forgot this game like goes at double the volume it's supposed to be able to go at. Uh, let's give it a shot at the Mono Mono Machine. I want some Kyoko gifts, please. Oh, okay, one coin, let's go. Give me Kyoko gifts. That's the cat hairpin. Cat hairpin. That ain't it. That ain't it, Captain. That's a... That's a flashlight? Flashlight. Oh, lucky. I get another one. Okay. 
What do we got, gamers? A passport of some kind? A book. What's this? Cat dog. That's, this is cat dog. This isn't helping me at all. Come on, I need those Kyoko gifts. Are those, what are those, shoes? Were those Healy slippers? Some kind of, some kind of <laughs> Healy slippers? Oh! Golden coffee? Was it Civic coffee or Luwak coffee? Cause that's a Kyoko. Let's see, let's let's leave. Let me leave. Let me leave. Is it E or F or something? Oh, it's, I remember it's you... R, it's R, R. For, for run away. Reject the screen. Reject the screen. Presence. Civic coffee. Yes, that's a Kyoko. All right, let's go hang with Kyoko. Julia's demanded it. Kyoko's my fave in this game. And we will do it if for Julia. If she gets murdered. I bet she is gonna get murdered though. I'm going quit. She's in 2B. Oh, that's right, she's in. 2B. That's right, she's in. <laughs> She's 2B. in 2B. She's in class oh, 2B. Oh, wow. Yeah, I wish someone had told you that earlier. It would have saved you the trouble. She's in class 2B. Guys, I just had a s'more again. Reality isn't everything. Wow, look at that bear drawing. Have I been in this room? Do I don't I think need you to... have. No, because isn't the second floor the new one? It is the new one, yeah. I just want to see if I can get any... Bear coins. Any Monokuma coins out of these devices. Also, no spoilies hey, in the there's chat. one. Yeah! Check the clock. Any any coins on this clock? Then we got TV and, and door. Oh, a virtual succubus is currently eating s'mores. Whoa! Nice! We got s'more stuff. And we've been roasting marshmallows on our open stove <laughs> top flame. Yeah. It's been pretty good. Just a second. What's the matter? Why are you bouncing around like a ra little rabbit? Don't you have anything to do? Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Let's spend a little time with Kyoko. The only one with more than one brain cell in this game. There's no reason to decline. I'm not the type to decline anyway. And I... Besides, I find myself more and more intrigued by someone like you. Tell Your a Story said that this is the same voice actor as Violet in the dub of Violet Evergarden. Fuck, that there's rules. A, there's a through line of characters you like. Yes! Never mind, I'm intrigued by someone like you. <laughs> Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Kyoko a present? Yes, yes definitely. definitely. Give her that civet coffee. Thank you. Thank you, this really means a lot to me. I need coffee because I keep having to save everyone's ass. <laughs> Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy. Nice. Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. <laughs> scared <Being> of what? <laughs> What's going on? I thought we were having a good time. <laughs> Being trapped in a place like this. Who wouldn't be? Of course I'm scared being trapped in this insane school. Correct. Ah, that's good. You're not a total sociopath. That's good? <laughs> Fear is proof that your imagination is functioning. Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't feel fear. That imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. H.J. Luck said Civet Coffee is the most expensive coffee in the world and it's made of poop. And oh, that's I right. actually know about that. The civet is like the monkey. Yeah. It eats the bean and then poops it out. And then you make the coffee out of the monkey's dookie beans. Uh, alternatively, Lashana Kit says, uh, forget Code Lyoko, I'm here for Code Kyoko. Nice. <laughs> this is you. Oh, the civet's a cat, it's not a monkey. Um, I knew that some sort of creature eats it and then you and you eat the, the dookie beans. The dookie beans. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Wrong. I'm scared too, of course. Our cat's just sprinted in. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. I think there sometimes is an advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. Never. Kyoko understands me. <laughs> like, 
if you let them see how you feel, then they know how you feel and can act accordingly. Kyoko <laughs> understands me. K-Boss, thank you for the five gifted subs. And thank you, Mash Mangoes, for rating. Thank you. I missed that nine minutes ago. So a little, little late on that one, but that's that's Caravan Man hitting us with a raid. Thank you oh, so much. Oh, thank you. You hide, huh? Correct. What I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open as you are. Foolishly open. Foolishly open? Foolishly open. Are? Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. It's like smart fear. Joy? Joy, what was that? What do you want? You little monkey? Punch oh. Frog, thank you so much for gifting five subs. And Bat Friend, thank you for subscribing. Our cats are both losing their minds. The cats are going crazy. Huh? What do you mean? I don't understand anything. <laughs> You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm afraid of what I've already lost. Damn. My mind. I'm sorry, I don't understand. Again. Where's your head at? I know. She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned and... Goodbye. Sashayed away. Goodbye. With that, she was gone. Well, we're still getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more <laughs> next time. <laughs> I feel hopeful <laughs> about the future. I don't think I understand her at all yet. Kyoko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, hey look, look at you go. go. Oh my God. She's in the box. She's Once in the... we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. She's in the Garfield box. There's still time left in the day. I don't feel like just sitting here. Maybe I'll go explore. Okay, now, wait, what does is, what is Celeste want? I wanna hang out with Celeste. Celeste wants death. What does Celeste want? Celeste, rose hip tea. Oh, of course, Love tea. affair ring or love status ring. Crane and tortoise diamond. Rose whip, antique doll. I got antique, antique doll. doll. I got antique doll. <laughs> Oh, Sleepy said, please hang out with the same person multiple times to get the benefits. Oh. Right, because they all have like a move. They have like a special skill. But I want to hang out with everybody. I want to hang out with everybody. I don't know. What do you think? Well, I'm looking at their skills that you gain. Should I hang out with um, Kyoko again? You think she wants to hang out again? Oh, you literally can't. No? Yeah, I guess you have to wait till the next day, at least. Interesting. All right, I'm hanging out with Celeste. I'm playing how I want. I'm playing like I don't know any information about the game. Okay. Hang That's out with Celeste. That's how I want to play. All right. Oh, Celeste is like... Right here. here She's somewhere. right behind There she you. is. Yeah. God, I forgot we're so short. I feel like I don't really need the skills anyway, right? Like... You, Maybe, don't, you don't need the skills to play the game. Well, you don't need it, but it would probably help in the future. Ah, Makoto, how are you? Hmm, should I hang out with Celeste for a little while? Yeah! What it? What are you doing? <laughs> would you like to play a game of chance with me? <laughs> Russian roulette. <laughs> I would be happy to empty your wallet and show it to you. Oh, right, she's the, the gambling yeah. one. She's the kake gurui girl. Yes. Celeste gave me the business. Gave Damn, you the business. dude, you got the business? All right. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Yes, definitely. Definitely. We're gonna hit her with that antique doll. That antique doll. It's down here somewhere. There it is. Antique doll give interesting the gods heard my prayer and my wish has been granted <laughs> this is all because of my daily sympathy and compassion is it not seeing celeste so pleased with something i gave her makes me happy <laughs> makoto i would like to share something with you huh what is it <laughs> my perfect gambling strategy let's go is there really such a thing? It's called counting cards. <laughs> of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. 
This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part of gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. Damn, all right. There is. That power is luck. Wow, that's super helpful. Luck. Actually, There are only two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. And the bottom line is, luck is life. Well. Do you see what I am saying? You mean, that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I've never lost. So that's all there is to it? You are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put it to the test. I hope you are well. <laughs> well then, have a nice day. Without another word, Celeste quietly disappeared. Goodbye. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling's probably not a great idea for me. Ricardo, you ain't dead yet. Upgrade is Celeste's report card based on my experiences. I got more skills points now. After parting with Celeste, I went back to my room. I feel like if she's never lost at gambling, that means it's not really gambling. What if she only gambled once? It's not a gamble if you win 100% of the time. But if you only gambled once, then that is both a gamble and you won 100% of the time. Because wow. you didn't know the outcome. Really makes you think. Oh, yes. I guess I'm feeling a little hungry. I'd better get something to eat before it's nighttime. I should head to the dining hall then, I guess. Eat some s'mores, sucker. They got s'mores up in here? Leave the area. Leave. Mm. Ah. You can never get as close to the door as I think you can before the game yeah. smashes you to the side. I just wanted to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Another moita. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Everyone was playing Uno. Listen to me. Hey, Makoto! Perfect timing! Huh? What's going on? Hey, damn it. I have a favor to ask. A favor? I have a bad feeling about this. What you want, Mondo? Hey, damn it. Come on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. Witness Action. to what? Oh, that's literally what oh, he said. Nice. Wow, predicted it. What? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one. Calling me a coward and shit like that. You're corrupt. You are a coward. That's why you turn to violence to solve your problems. Yo. That's why you can't do what society asks of you. Why you walk around dressed like that. Huh? The fuck you say? You don't know shit. You hear me? You've already lost to yourself, but you're such a coward you don't even realize it. So what? You're saying you're not a coward? You think you're tougher than me? I know I am. You wanna fight? Okay, then let's throw down. Prove you got what I don't got. You hear me? I accept your challenge. What? So that's what's happening, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. You're gonna throw down? You're not gonna like start punching each other, are you? Hey. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With a sauna inside? <laughs> What better place to throw down with the boys? Oh my god, are they gonna have a sweat off? <laughs> I see. A simple endurance contest, is it? Yes! We're going to see who can stay in the sauna the longest, am I right? Piece of shit. Goddamn straight. Time for a boy fight. The school has a sauna? That's very funny. Uh, are you guys really gonna go through with this? Shit, awesome. yeah! He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are, without exception, all talk. You throw down Bring it on. Hell, let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting? You son of a bitch. We're going to battle with all our clothes on. Boo. Boo. Th that's idiotic. Suicidal. You fight? What, you afraid? Y you're going to regret this. Shut up and let's do this. Oh my god. But he took his clothes off. He's so jacked. That's not fair. He is jacked though. Damn. <laughs> hey, Mondo. What asshole. You can take off your uniform, you know? Go ahead. I won't judge. And you can shut the fuck up. 
suck up and mind your own business. I mean, look at you. Your face is all red. What are you, one of those goddamn hot spring monkeys? It just so happens, I was born with a red face. You don't have to act all big, man. The VA is low because I have to have the game audio low. Okay, fine, everyone. Jesus, God Christ. <laughs> you say? Don't complain when the map noise blows out your eardrums later. <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soap right now. Are they? Okay. I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed. Then a few dozen minutes. Then an hour. <laughs> Why does it look like Mondo's been screaming the whole time? No, because he probably has been. What about you? You can't even hardly talk. Dumbass. Say whatever you want. I'm still totally good to go. In fact, I'm starting to feel uh, kind of cold. That's yes. Not good. Come here. Are one of them gonna die from this? <laughs> one of them gets murdered by Sauna. Hey, uh, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but don't you think you've done enough? Shut up! God, I just can't win. Ding dong, bing bong! Hell yeah. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the door to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. I love that they have a curfew in this murder house. Yeah, like why? Hey, did you hear that? It's nighttime. How about we call it a tie? In a true competition, there's no such thing as a tie. You win or you lose. That's the only thing that matters. These boys got hydrate after this. You, yeah. You son of a Look at how bitch. much milk came out of them. <laughs> then bring it on. I'll, I'll push you right up to the gates of hell. The gates of hell. That's not a good place to push someone. <laughs> this isn't good, guys. Yeah, you hear him? Better crawl on back to your room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my... my legend. Mm. <laughs> Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall down in front of me. Down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Can we... Just kiss, boys. Is there like a world in which we can be less suggestive? <laughs> Just kiss. It's <laughs> fine. It's acceptable. Be you. <laughs> Spreading my dot 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 legend. <laughs> Big talk from someone whose face is about to explode. Okay. Right back at ya. Okay, well. Good night then. I really hope those two don't overdo it. Boys like boys like girls do. But I'm sure to the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Do you have to put their corpses on trial? <laughs> <laughs> the concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. That's what I do every night. Slowly <laughs> succumb to sleep. Yeah. Filled with concern. It's Monokuma Theater. <laughs> I have to remember the voice. Tiny Bear said, fellas, is it gay to spread your legend with the boys? <laughs> <laughs> if fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive. Cling to life. You're a robot, Monokuma. Or is he? Uh. 
Ding dong, bing bong. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. And nighttime is officially over. Time to rise and shine. Get ready to greet another bee. Do we have to put the sauna on, Fra? Yeah, the sauna did it. Morning, huh? I hope Mondo and Taka survived. Worried about the two of them, I hurried to the dining hall more quickly than usual. They're gonna be like two California raisins. And when I entered... <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? What are you talking about, bro? What the... Hey, Makoto! I just kissed him and it was fine! <laughs> Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday! We've gotten married! <laughs> huh? Are they friends now? They've been acting like this all morning. They were all buddy buddy as soon as they walked in. It feels gross. All right, what? Sally. Feels gross? Hell no. Feels great, more like. Oh my god, they smooched. This almost feels like sexual harassment somehow. Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. Kiss! <laughs> Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman could never understand. Ain't that right? What's like the male equivalent of like just gals being pals? Just guys Bro. being... Guys being buys. But that explicitly says it. <laughs> you can't explicitly, <laughs> you have to say, you can't explicitly say it. Just dudes being, it has to rhyme I feel like. It can't be guys being dudes. Ludes being, du dudes they being can't, No, they can't be lewd, that says it again. You can't say it. Guys getting by. Bros being hoes. No. Nope. Bros. You, you, I think you're missing the point of the exercise. I just can't think of anything. Men being, men's being friends. <laughs> I like that one a lot. I'm going to stick with men's being friends. <laughs> what you just said? Bro, that was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Without a doubt. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. All right. So, um, who won the contest? Piece of shit. Who gives a shit? Got it. Yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. Mm-hmm. It does take two to tango. That's completely different from what you were saying last night. Tongue tango. Friendship between men seemed very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. Yeah, for real. All throughout breakfast, that's that's morning. That's it's morning. It's a beautiful morning. The room was dominated by Mondo and Taka's overpowering brotherhood. Mm. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. More like marriagehood, if you know what I'm saying. To got married is what I'm saying. Was that subtle enough? So what should I do today? Ding dong. Bing bong. Not bing bong. Mm. This is a normal ding dong. Hmm? Who could that be? Yeah, answer your front door like no one's trying to murder each other, Makoto. Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. Hmm. Oh, God. Oh, freaking hell, Toko. Lord. I just had such a fun time with the boys. Now you gotta ruin it. Now I gotta deal with this. <sighs> Toko, what's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that annoying? Yes. <laughs> well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here no knowing that, so that makes it okay. No, that makes it worse. No, you're not annoying. I just wondered what was going on. <laughs> this is just me, bruh. <laughs> this is just me. This is just who I am. Being shitty is just me. It's part of me. It's part of me, and you have to accept that I can never be good. I have a f f favor to ask. I want you to go somewhere with me. Where? And where is it you want to go? Well, the library. Huh? Are you looking for a book or something? No, Biakia's over there. She wants to. Why don't you just kiss ask Biakia? He spends all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? 
you're not a b b blabbermouth, right? This has to be a secret. Tang Lady is right in saying that guys can be close without being gay. Hell Toxic yeah. Toxic masculinity says dude sharing emotions is feminine and gay. That's a very good point, Tang Lady. It is good for dudes to be close and to share emotions. Hell yeah. Uh, and I'll ask Encourage that. it. Hi highly support it. Encourage it. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. Okay, I got it, the library. Jeez, why so pushy? Dudes sharing their moods. <laughs> it was just, there were so many suggestive lines in there. Yeah, I mean, it was obviously intentionally suggestive. Yeah. C quiet, be quiet when you c go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. Starting? The hell have you been? Oh my God. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. POV you under Byakuya's heel. Oh, he's really here. Oh my God. Makoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being so loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. You go talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. I always forget that Makoto's like voice acting sounds like a real mayonnaise boy. <laughs> yeah. That's kind of crazy. What's plugged in now? Something wasn't plugged in before. The lamp? Seems like the lamp. Mm. Can I interact with the lamp? Seems like it. You can also interact with the cable to the right there. Oh I, oh, I did it good. I got the shelf. Oh, that's not what we wanted. I want the, the lamp. Lamp. Here we go. It's a desk lamp. Wow. Library's definitely pretty dark. I imagine this would come in pretty handy. Byakuya is getting some use out of it, that's for sure. Okay, let's take a look at the cord. An extension cord. I guess it's being used to connect the lamp to the power outlet. <laughs> wow, genius. Wow. But where would you get something like this here in the school? A real detective on our hands. Okay, I think that's all the new stuff. See what Byakuya has got to say. He seems to be really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. All right. Ah, so you notice me, huh? Naturally. Of course, now hurry up and leave. Hmm. And take her with you. Wow. Hey, um, Byakia? Remember how you said, <laughs> don't be a woman who dominates weak men? Be a woman who dominated by a strong man? Is that what you said, Byakia? Did you say that? <laughs> He's a real dom. I never said that. I said that about me. <laughs> <laughs> I was giving myself a pep talk. <laughs> well, actually, I, I just thought it sounded like something you might say. Oh my God. This is like when people fantasize about like real actual humans. Yeah. And it gets real weird. Get out. And go take a bath, you smell. Real fucking wild. <laughs> Don't make me repeat myself. Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench latches onto the entire room. Wow. Uh, okay. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. She seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? I think she's into it. Byakuya, to go that far. He must be really concerned about me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? Toko needs therapy. He told me to, to take a bath and everything. He must really care ab about my well-being. Hey, Makoto, what do you think? Toko, this is why people don't want to hang out with you. Yeah. Think about what? She has an unhealthy view of relationships. Do you think Byakuya and I would be g good together? Um, well now, I I don't really know. <laughs> Ooh, I don't know. Uh, oh, uh. Ooh. Maybe. Th that's tr 
true. There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love! Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born! That's how love works! Oh, hi, Olive. Okay. There might come a day when you understand, maybe, someday. What is happening? Hi, Olive. I gotta show off Olive. It's Olive time. Everybody take a look at what Olive is doing. I then show Joy. Where's Joy? Oh. There's there... Joy. It kind of looks like it's one long cat when I get it at just the right angle. That's true. We got both cats around. They're just hanging out while we stream. They need to be as close as possible at all times. This is what happens when you get a cat during a time where you get laid off and then have quarantine. Yep. For like a year. Well, bye. Bye. Right. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, young love. Wah! Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? But eager passion can be so scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. Yeah. <laughs> okay, bye. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Yeah, you. <laughs> I get <both>. that. <laughs> Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. I gotta sleep this off. I gotta succumb to sleep, filled with concern. For anyone who is new here, because I noticed that we have a, a number of n more viewers, um, content warning at the top there. There's gonna be, this one's, this chapter's a rough one, so this warning. There's some outdated opinions and some transphobic things that happen. Yes. There's still some time left in the day. What to do? How is there still time left in the wow, day? Wow, after that wild ride. I don't want to do anything else. I want to do the story of the game. Okay, who should we hang out with? Uh, can we hang out with like Kyoko or something? Is it a new day yet? Did we go to sleep? We did go to sleep. We did go to sleep. Sauna. Should we hang out with like Kyoko or Celeste or someone we've hung out with already? I gotta or get Owie? more. I gotta get more coffee. We can hang out with Owie, I guess. I could see if we have something for someone else. We can hang out with Sakura again. Did we get Sakura's thing? Let's try to hang out with Kyoko. Let me see if I can get some more coffee for for Kyoko. Cause she has a few things she likes too. Like cherry blossom bouquet or bajobo dolls. All right, I'm gonna start rolling for some things. We'll see what we get. And we'll see what we get. Where am I? Here am I. I mean, people recommended hang out with the same character multiple times to get their like, yeah, buff. Their bonus buff. Right. So we're gonna try Kyoko for now. Because we've hung out with Aoi before. We've hung out with Sakura in yeah. previous streams. So we can hit up any one of them. What, is that a whistle? Looks like a whistle. Okay. Give me the good stuff. That's some like pirate pants. Lucky. Lucky! I don't know what that is. A pack of cards or something? Or like a booster pack. Yeah, it did look like a booster pack. That's I think that was like a chocolate bar or something. Okay. Oh, it's a gaming console. Gaming consoles. Do some gaming. It's a, that thing you use to... A C-clamp. Yeah, thank you. Not sure what that was. Looked like, a, like a tree. like a wish tree. Some kind of tree. Rare tree. Uh, dookie ball. Oh, that tree thing is a Tamagushi. T-shirt of some kind. And it's for Yasu Yasuhiro. Uh, gun? Is that a laser gun? What is that? Lucky! No idea. K 
camera. Another camera. Camera we used for someone. Yeah, we did. Oh, I think we used it for Junko, RIP. Um. Oh, Cherry Blossom. Oh, is uh, that Cherry that's, Blossom? That's for um, Kyoko or Aoi. All right, we'll hit, we'll hit that's Kyoko. That's Cherry Blossom bouquet. We'll hit Kyoko with that. Yeah, let's get going. We got to give Kyoko these, these Cherry Blossoms. Cherry Blossom. A little bit of Cherry Blossom for Kyoko. Oh, hello, Celeste. Celeste. What is Celeste like? I think she was like, yeah, second floor. Right. Let's go right to her. Kyoko, where are you? Hello? 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 <laughs> Hello? Where was she listed? Like in this open area. Where are you hiding, Kyoko? Wait, to the left? To the, wait, yeah, around that corner? No, okay, I thought I saw something. Flash of color. Hello? Oh! There she is, hiding by the locked staircase. Why? God, she's like 12 feet tall. Who set all this up? And why did they choose us? There's so many mysteries. Hmm, should I talk to Kyoko for a while? Yeah, yeah she sounds yeah. like she really wants to engage us in talking. I'm in no position to tell you what to do. You're free to do as you wish, right? That's correct. I mean, well, to a point, I can't leave the school. But I have my own way of doing things. Okay. I joined Kyoko while she searched the school. We didn't say anything to each other. Okay. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. You got that comfortable silence. All right, I got a present for you. Hopefully this is cherry blossoms. Oh, did we have civic coffee again? No, I think it, it's, it's a zero. Yeah. Oh, you're right, okay. It's just listed. Where's the blossoms? There Cherry is. Blossom Bouquet. Yep. That's the one? Yeah, I believe so. How did you know I was interested in this? Matches your hair <laughs> You're color. You're an enigma, Kodo Nayagi. Seeing Kyoko so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy! Yay! Quiet as ever. I guess she doesn't like to waste her words. Hey, um, Kyoko? If you're expecting a conversation, don't. There's no need for it. But I mean, don't you think talking is important? I feel like if we're gonna get out of here, we all need to be on the same page. And to do that, we need to get to know each other. Mm -hmm. You could certainly make the argument that formulating friendships may help prevent killings. So... But are you asking for some kind of deep connection? Huh? Because... You could just be deceiving us, pretending to be everyone's friend so you can gather information. No, that's not... Why? Well then, let's do a quick test, shall we? Uh, test? That's right. If you're as gung ho on friendship as you claim, this should be an easy question. Oh, okay. So I just have to answer your question. Is that it? So then. Are you ready? You consider Hina one of your friends, right? And? If that's true, what's her ultimate ability? That's an easy one. Hina's ultimate ability. She's training for the Olympics and swimming. <laughs> nice, nice body. <laughs> Hina is the ultimate swimming pro, of course. Correct. Well, asked and answered. It would seem... Then your pleas for camaraderie are true. Of course. <laughs> yes, of course. Such a foolishly open person as you could never lie. Everyone would know right away. Again with that foolishly open stuff. So then. That's what she says to people while she's doing tennis and she like smashes it really hard. You're foolishly yeah, open. Foolishly open. Okay then, as promised, what would you like to know about me? Oh, um, let's see. What school did you used to go to before you came here? So... Before I came here? I guess I was living abroad. Abroad? Was it an exchange program or do your parents work overseas or something? My parents, I suppose? Why all the question marks? Anyway, okay, so she was living abroad because of her dad's job. So what kind of work does he do? Foreign government? Top secret clearance? More question marks. Okay, so he does top secret work for other governments. All I can think of is assassin? <sighs> I kept up my end of the deal. Goodbye. There should be enough, right? I'm leaving now. 
she left without even waiting for a reply. She's so full of mystery. She's clearly full of no memories. And hearing what she had to say just added even more mystery on top of everything. Kyoko's report card has been updated based on your experience. Wow. Once we were all done, I headed back to my room for a little while. Ding dong, bing bong. That's dawn of the next day. I mean. Dawn of the night of the day. Dawn of the night of the day. Ahem. A school announcement. School oh, announcement. it's different. This is new. Nighttime is quickly approaching, but before it arrives, all students, please gather in the gym immediately. Emergency. Emergency. Oh my God, is this a Scholastic Book Fair here? Oh, hell yeah. I hope so. I've got to get those Captain School Underpants Lastic books. Scholastic Book Fair. Why now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. Show up with a dollar and leave with a Captain Underpants. I have a terrible feeling. Why don't you just take me to the gym? At the Scholastic Book Fair, it. I brought a dollar and I got a book of like weird trivia. And I think that says a lot about me. Of what trivia? Just like general trivia. What's up, you Fumi? Hey, Fumi, how come you haven't gone in yet? Why? Why, uh, Why is that? Mr. Nayagi, don't scare me like that. Sorry, but we really should go inside. Your Hifumi voice is very good, by the way. No, don't go. You can't go. Mm -hmm. That's what my ghost friend is telling me. Your what? I don't feel good about it either, but we can't just ignore this. Damn, that's true too. I, I guess we have no choice. I have to go too. All right, well, that was a cool conversation. It was worth my time. Well, we learned that he's a ghost friend and that he probably knows something bad. Hmm, asking us to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Well, indeed, what might await us this time? I see someone cleaned up Junko's body. <laughs> he keeps he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. <laughs> Byakuya drunk on all them books. <laughs> how is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. What the heck? There's something totally messed up with you if you can laugh at a time like this. <laughs> Which of us is actually messed up? Oh my hmm. god, I'm 14 and <laughs> I'm this on is Twitter. Deep. Yeah. <laughs> um, actually? He's just the embodiment of that comic that's like, and yet you participate in society. Curious. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he really is. Huh? Well, what's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Just admiring, that's all. Oh my god. I don't want to kill anyone, but I also don't want to stay here living in blind denial day after day. Hm. I was just admiring how you could live like that and still keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. <laughs> that reminds me. Remember how you kept talking about how the police or whoever would come help us? How'd that turn out? It seems to me there's no sign whatsoever of possible rescue. Don't shit on people for having hopes. No. That, that's just... Huh? I, I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. We're right in the middle of a major urban area. What? The police suck! Hmm. On the contrary, the mastermind may be just that powerful to take control even of the police. Could it be? Oh, this might not be related, but... Is it she? <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, gonna say it. It's not like some occult It's mystery. about last night. I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, when all of a sudden, I heard it. Huh? You heard what? Hmm. A sound that I don't really know what it was. Hmm. What kind of sound? Hmm. Well, like I said, I don't really know. Good but if story. I had to describe it, Could it, be? it was like a construction site, I guess. A construction site? For serious. I mean, I could just be making that up. I only just barely heard anything. <laughs> then you definitely made it up. Must have just been the sound of the ocean in that 
head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Mondo. Toko? Is that Mondo? It's question marks. Well, it seems like a Mondo sentence. Well, why wouldn't it say Mondo if it was Mondo? Mondo's right this there. A spicy new. <laughs> it was I. Being a little shit. <sighs> He's arrived. <laughs> why did they reveal him like we've never seen him before? <laughs> What Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Huh? <laughs> or maybe a machine gun. <laughs> that can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? Ah, ah, ah. Beyond this point, my mouth is zippered. Is zipped? Whatever. My lips are sealed. I am fully puckered. Fully puckered? Fully puckered. You can't say that on Twitch. I'm going to say that so much. You can't say that thing on Twitch. It's a secret little <laughs> you secret. You can't talk about that. And? Fine. Let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Say what? You don't beat around the old bush, do ya? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? If you please. But before that, you mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching's even losing all its shine and luster. I'm thinking, it's probably become of this ho-hum, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something with a little more stimulation. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yep. Listen, can I just be frank? Today, the I next Blackened hasn't shown up yet, and I'm getting bored. Hey, um, so I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. M motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? <laughs> Some VHSs. Are you going to show us some demented thing to try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! You hear me? I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not going to kill each other anymore. No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't. To God and anime. <laughs> hmm. That's very big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin! So this time, it's... Embarrassing moments and secrets. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's something you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigation of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets! Oh no! Those embarrassing memories and secrets are all contained in the envelopes I have right here. My I'm embarrassing secret is that I hate flip flops. So take a second to <laughs> Not you tweeted that. I did what? <laughs> As Monokuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes at our feet. I quickly snatched the envelope with my name written on it. I nervously pulled out what was written inside, and my entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was. I was gonna make day. a pee joke. We've been making bed pee jokes this whole game. Like with everything going on, is that even a bad secret? No. I'd be like, I'm still pissing the bed, like constantly, constantly because of how fine. terrified I am about everything that's happening. Literally every time we played this game, we've made a bed peeing joke. That's true, actually. That's yes. really weird. How, how did we know? Every time he goes to bed, he pees. Was the joke. Wow, we've really called his ass out. I slept in my pee again. That was every single gameplay. He just exudes bed <laughs> pee energy. <laughs> what? H how? How do you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. I got an A minus once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then, all your deepest, darkest, most embarrassingest secrets will be exposed to the world. I'd just be like, listen, everyone. I was pissing the bed like recently. There's not like many secrets that I'd be embarrassed so much so that I would like rather someone get murdered about it. Yeah, I would just tell everyone immediately my secret and be like, all right. Maybe I'll roll by a 
crowded intersection in a van strapped with loudspeakers and spill the beans. Okay. <laughs> now I'm picturing Monokuma driving in an intersection being like, hey, Nayagi pisses the bed. Everyone's just like, I don't know who that is. Uh, uh, that doesn't matter to me. Who is that? I don't, I'm going to forget about this in, a, in like <laughs> 10 minutes. Yeah. Wouldn't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate? <laughs> yep, you got it. That's all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but we'd never kill over something like that. I... <laughs> it's just... That secret is just like some writers wanting to write a dark secret, but like everything they they thought of was like too edgy or dark, and they were like, "Oh no, we can't." Listen. Well, even Makoto doesn't care. Yeah. Well, what'd you say? He's right. Your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. This is kind of depressing. Oh, oh no. Is it because, for better or worse? Your memory is still connected to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know, no matter what. So I assumed you'd all be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. Man. You're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours, I'll expose your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressed. Fair not well. With an almost convincing look of depressed dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. So, um... I, I didn't know what to expect at first, but m maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. Um... I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is gonna be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Listen to me. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. You hear me? Why don't we all just confess the secrets in those envelopes right here and now? Yes. Without a doubt. If we do that, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? Quiet down and listen. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... <laughs> I don't want to hear your stupid s story. What? I just proposed a way where we don't have to murder each other. <laughs> Besides, I don't I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says. I don't want to talk about mine. As for me, neither do I. Not because it is unpleasant, but because it is impossible. Oh? Well, it's just human nature to want to hear it when you say it's impossible. Come on, it'll be good for you. <sighs> Absolutely not. Come on. It's okay, come just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. Honestly, as I said, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Okay. Yeah! I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. We're all super embarrassed, even me, Piakuya. <laughs> what do you think, Chihiro? Flax Wench, oh, thank you for the seven gifted subs. Thank you, Flax Wench. Um, s sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. But, but, but I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So, um. If you don't want to talk, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. There's literally murder on the line yeah like that's what's on the line yeah that's true if everyone's that much against it even if my bro's the one that suggested it i gotta say no well that's okay then either way if it's just a few secrets i'm sure nobody's about to kill anybody over it i'm sure i hope you're right a secret so bad you'd kill someone to keep it nobody's got something like that right Okay, I'll stop with all the secret talk, but you hear me? each of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secrets exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. So, you know, um, don't do anything hasty. 
The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worry even more. Oh, uh, okay, sorry. I know it's gonna be tough, but... Ding dong, ding dong. Debbie! It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially night time. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug fight. Hmm. Night time already, huh? Okay, let's call it a day. Of course. Good idea. We need to prepare for tomorrow. I was left with an anxiety I just couldn't shake, but... Makoto, your secret literally <laughs> that you pee the bed is fine. Everyone knows that, dog. We left things as they were and left things as they lay. As they say. One by one, we headed back to our rooms. Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. A pee-pee boy. A pee-pee boy. There was no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. But maybe I was just being optimistic. Which is probably why, without too much of a struggle, I peed. <laughs> <laughs> on purpose. I just peed all over the bed, <laughs> just to get it out. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. Should we do ads? Yeah, we'll do ads. Okay. I fell asleep. What I didn't know is that even then, a tragedy was taking place. Tragedy! Tragedy! Once I get to the next spot where I can click. Hey, do you have a second? I want to confide in you. Confide in me after the ads are run. Piece of shit! Piece of shit! We're gonna run three minutes of ads, and then we'll be back to continue with the game. Starting now. Because we can listen to the, the the jam. The Monokuma jam while we wait. I love that you can see Olive's little foot. <laughs> Beep. She's Beep. completely passed out. Beep. Oh, one ear twitch. Oh, she's stretching. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's the good stuff right there. Oh my god, you can see the beans now. You can see the beans. Joy is, is right behind her. High quality streaming. Hell yeah. They usually don't sleep this close to each other. I'm surprised. Yeah, it's cute. They're sleeping back to back. Let's see if I can get a good angle on it. There's Joy. There's Olive. There's Joy. There's Olive. There's Joy. There's Beyond. Olive. There's Joy. Olive Joy, Olive, Joy Olive, Joy, Olive, that's it, that's all you get for free. Sometimes Olive's markings remind me of those stripey slugs, you know those stripey slugs? Don't call Olive a stripey slug. Sometimes she's How a little... dare you say that to Sometimes Olive? Sometimes she's, she's a stripy slug. How dare you say that to Olive? You're not a stripy slug. You're an itty bitty kitty. It's giving Olive some good pats right there. It's pretty good pats. Oh, I love when they put their paw and then they rest their little chins on it. Everything cats do is incredibly cute. What are their identifiable traits? Olive is a lighter color than Joy. Joy also has a smaller head. Yep. Olive's got uh, her like dark patches go over both eyes, and mm -hmm. Joy's dark patches only go over one eye. Yeah. And. Yeah, and they just got like different faces and heads. Joy has got shorter front legs. She's a little. Joy's like a little bulldog toppled. cat. Yeah. She stands kind of like this. Yeah. And she like tilts forward a little bit. She's not like perfectly flat across the top. She, I always like, call her like a drag racer. Yeah. She looks like a drag racer car. Like, she does look big like a in drag the back racer. And small in the front. My favorite is when Olive does her full tilt sprint across the, across the apartment. 
and her tail does that like perfect, like it looks like a little bumper car. Yeah. Tether. She just runs. Yep. It's very cute. Sometimes you can just see Olive's straight up tail. You know where she is. Yeah. You can use it to see where she is. Olive also does that like vibrating tail thing if you get close to her sometimes and she does these little tippy tappies. Abby said that I was wearing the Legrand Gata shirt. Was it in honor of Unsleeping City season two? Uh, it was not, it's just a happy coincidence. I just now realized that the, today was like the Unsleeping City season two. Oh, is it? Uh, day. I haven't finished that season. I have to go back to watching uh, D20 or Dimension 20. Yeah, me too. I haven't even watched Unsleeping City. I just have the shirt because I, I, I liked it and I got it for free. Sleeping City. And then I started watching their candy one, which was fun. I didn't finish season one either. I want to like experience it as a podcast. Because mm. I don't like I have a hard time watching D and D shows. Yeah. Like Critical Role, I tried to get into, mm -hmm. but because it was like a video, I don't just have as many chances to. Right. Put it yeah. on. Yeah. Usually I watch G twenty when I'm doing work. They do have it as a podcast. Well, maybe I'll take it in that way then. All right. Instead, today I'm was trying to catch up on Adventure Zone. It's also one of those weird things where because I know the people in it, for some reason when I know the people that make a thing, yeah. I have like a harder time watching or listening to the thing. Yeah, I can see that. But um, Emily uh, absolutely cracks me up. So I can watch whatever she's in. If she's a character, I loved her in... I think it was the first season of D20 when she's the woman from Staten Island. No, that's from Sleeping City. Her character in Unsleeping City is hilarious. It's so good. Hey, Alec. There she is. There's the girl. She's sitting up. I have so not listened Sophie to Mad Bikes. Pod yet either. I talked to Caldwell today. It's all on my list, but I just don't, I have like a certain amount of podcast listening time and yeah. all of it is occupied with podcasts. <laughs> so I don't have like a blank space. By the really time I want to listen to a podcast, the next episode of one of the ones I listen to is, is out. In any case, let's game. Let's game. Let's game though. Do you have a second? I want to confide in you. Tell me what's on your mind, Monokuma. It's about the prevailing world attitude right now. Let me hear it. The difference between passive and active, I mean, for example, it's the difference between like, oops, I killed them, and yeah, that's right, I killed them. Yup. Amazingly, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There's a huge difference between oops and that's right, you know what I'm saying? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it with calculated intent. The lady in the calendar is waving every now and again, and it's very funny. Oh, really? Yeah. To make yeah, that choice, guess. then put it into action, is way harder than letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, I'm not totally sure myself. You should try reading between the lines. You're saying millennials these days don't know how to do murder. They're killing the murder industry. Oh. Morning. Good. Good morning. Good ah! Good morning! <laughs> Get out of here! Ooh, uh... <laughs> nice reaction. I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? Yep. I wanted to spice things up. So instead of a school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. What the hell for? <laughs> because it's fun. Hmm. And as long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hear what? <laughs> are you sure you should be acting this laid back? 
I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy buddy classmates. Oh no. What? Who did? Was it Toko? <laughs> what? Tell me it was Toko. <laughs> Please, Monokuma, <laughs> tell me. Tell me it was Toko. Your face is all blue like someone on the verge of death. What? <laughs> what happened? What are you talking about? <laughs> That's for me to know and for you to find out. Good luck. Something's happened to someone. Where does he disappear to? Is it? Was it? Toko? Sayaka? <laughs> <laughs> no, it can't be. Where's Sayaka? There's no way someone would. But what if? Ball pit. No, what ifs are pointless, especially now when the dining hall. I need to get to the dining hall. Ah. Oh, thank God, Owie's alive. Ah, Makoto. Uh, um, are you okay? Hey. Did Monokuma talk to you too? Hiro, Hina, Sakura, and... This shitbag. Byakuya. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Hm. Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said. Or they've fallen victim to the something that Monokuma mentioned. Shoko would never. <laughs> the something? Perhaps. It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. It took everything I had to drive that thought away. Uh, um... So if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff was just a bunch of old memories. What are you doing? Just old memories? Don't be so sure about that. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Huh? To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook. Do you realize how dangerous that is? Wow. What the heck? It's the hardest truth you've I'm said so far. I'm a big brain boy, aren't I? <laughs> Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. Kind of is a co-op game now. What does it do to me? What good does it do <laughs> me to go out of my way to help you? Just the worst. Stop saying that already. Uh, um... There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Yeah, by money. That's not important. What happens right now is that we find out what happened. Oh my god. Yeah, put on a webcam. We got an epic cat battle of brewing. Oh, she's cleaning. Hold on. Is it still gonna happen? Did you give up? Did you give up already? Did the camera make you shy? Did you get camera shy? Did you get camera shy? All right, they're not battling anymore. Olive saw Joy's tail under the Cintiq. Well, her tail is flicking around like she's still gonna fight. Could still happen. Could still happen, but she's closed her eyes. Did you say this yet? Uh, yeah. That's fine. She's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. <laughs> the game is afoot. Biaki, uh, go out a window with Toko. Crush Toko, then tr crush yourself. Anybody in the kitchen? Nope. Leave the kitchen. I'm gonna hold your paw off. All right, let's see where people are. Where's people? Look at the map. Someone's in the hall. We got Owie in the hall. Go, go talk to Owie in the hall. I'm gonna leave the area. Hey, Owie. What do you think about all this? Big Yonic Energy said, another Let's Play channel I like pointed out that Byakuya has this thing where he acts like he's the protagonist of this game and Monokuma acts like Byakuya is the protagonist of this game. And that's the funniest shit to me. It's true. That's good. I knocked on all the doors, but nobody answered. Did they all go to see what happened? Oh, then what about the second floor of the school? That's the one place that's new to all of us, so it seems like a natural place for... For Moira? Is it a natural place for Moira? <laughs> Girls are having a stare off. I feel like I'm just gonna go to the second floor. Sakura, you don't belong in the trash room? 
Probably the library, right? Yeah. We keep talking about the dang old library, so. The library? <laughs> Take me to the library. Oh, I guess not the library. Hmm. There's nothing here of interest, don't you agree? You should go look somewhere else. I want so much more right. than the lay of the land. Goodbye. Oh yeah, isn't the is the pool on this floor? Oh yeah, it's right there. I keep hitting the wrong button and doing that stupid <laughs> zoom. All the controls are. Someone pointed out stupid. that the lamp is unplugged. In the library. What? The lamp is unplugged. The lamp <gasps> is unplugged. My God, someone's trying to conserve energy. Freaking explain yourself. And not yourself. burn down the school by keeping in hot electronics. The cord doesn't reach the, okay, so the extension cord is gone. That's what we're to notice here. Byakuya did it. Oh my God, we could get Byakuya out soon. Oh, thank God. Byakuya. Byakuya. Where's the swam jamma Uh, yeah. Take me down to the swimming pool city. Look at Joy's ear. Do you see this? The ear? Boop. Huh? The door's open, but aren't these supposed to be locked? Ding dong, bing bong. I have unlocked the doors. Please look around to your heart's content. Thank you. Oh my gosh, thank you. Investigation? It's all clear now. Where the hell did you come from? Just as I thought. Byakuya! I see. Judging from what he just said, there can be no doubt a murder really has taken place. Come on! And the locker rooms. They're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed. Wouldn't you agree? Huh? Suspicious? <laughs> it seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girl's locker room. All right, room. perv. He was muttering as if talking only to himself. Oh, that's not how I delivered that line. You should have told me before, Makoto. <laughs> Need to be a better director. Without waiting for a reply, he pressed his hand against the girl's locker room door. All right. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Warning for whatever's about to happen. Warning. Big warning. Big warning about whatever's going on. I don't know what it is yet, but I'm sure it's dead. Big warning. If you're going to be uncomfortable, you should probably leave now. Oh. oh. It's Chihiro. Oh, Chihiro. Chihiro, Chihiro. Chihiro. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at, but as soon as I did... <laughs> there was a bug! A wild, almost primeval scream. Okay, that's a generous way to describe your scream. <laughs> yeah, humans were like really hunting... It was like a caveman's voice. <laughs> really hunting the mammoth. Oh, God! I'm gonna get you! A wild, almost primeval scream escaped from my mouth. Boy's life of despair, deadly life. That was a cool little lick. I tried to suppress my screaming, but it was useless. <laughs> It like surged out of me like water from a spring gushing out of the ground. I don't, it's like a goat. It's just a normal scream. Byakuya, on the other hand. Very strange. Most unusual, don't you think? That someone would write bloodlust on the wall like this? It's in like perfect, a cool font. And yeah, perfect font. He was totally calm, almost like he was watching this all unfold in front of a TV screen. I love this poster in the background. This woman looks so uncomfortable. Why would they have that in the the women's locker room? I don't know, but like her like butt crack sticking out like a plumber. Also, I do want to point out that it looks like it says Leon, or is that K 
Is that a K or an L? It's impossible to know for sure. Because right now I'm choosing to read it as Leon. I just want I just want it to always be Leon, written on a wall. Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended. Oh, this is Biagria. <laughs> <laughs> Look, Chihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow, and something's been written on the wall in blood. Something? Bloodlust. Hmm. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? Hmm. No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. All right. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder was not a crime of passion or necessity. Here's the thing. Interesting. Kill the rich. Eat the rich. It's almost as if whoever did this did it for fun. Kill you Biafia. see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I was still reeling, too confused to understand what he was trying to say. And before I could even begin to clear my head... What the heck? Hey, I heard screaming. Did something... Oh! That was a good scream. Yeah, that was like a primeval scream. That was a good one. Chihiro! Chihiro! Ding dong, ding dong. Wow, that's a new one. What? The subway has arrived. We can't ding dong, ding dong. There is no ding dong, ding dong. Only ding dong, bing bong. A body has been discovered. Ah, oh, that's the body alarm. Gotcha. After a certain amount of time, which you may use however you like, the class trial will begin. What the hell was that? What? Ah, oh, that's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the bodily body discovery Bodily discovery. Apparently, when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly for everyone involved. I say it's Biakia, come on. Proceed fairly? The body discovery announcement? Then Shihiro really is... What do you think? Dead, yes. Yeah, no, she's just joking up there. D -d 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 Duel! Before you start screaming your head off, go round everyone up. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover oh a killer. Oh my god, I'm 14 and this is deep. Byakuya. Taka bolted out of the locker room. Byakuya! <laughs> as everyone made their way to the scene, it felt as if no time at all passed. It was like my sense of time had just taken wing and flown away. When I finally came back to myself, I saw everyone had the same look of confusion, fear, and anger. We all just stood there, gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Fondo was Whoa. like hiding behind the punching bag. Wow, she's Sakura powering up. Powering up, gonna go Super Saiyan. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. So there's another victim. Which means we are already, we are now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? What? It's a dream. This is a dream. It's all just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have any memory of ever being alive. Shut up. All right, well, let's chat about it. Let's talk it over. Mondo, what you got to say, bud? There's blood on the We can't talk to Mondo. He, yeah, look at him. He's too flat. He's, He's too, too flat. flat right now. I'll look at the weight on the blood. The blood on the weight on the blood. No, there are more important things to worry about right now than a dumbbell. There's blood on Makoto. the dumbbell. Makoto. Will you Makoto. pay the fuck Makoto. attention Makoto. for a sec? God, there's blood on the woman's face. It's like someone <laughs> tried to cover it. Okay, I guess you want me to look at this first, and you won't notice anything else until... Why you give me the All choice right, then? Game. Why you let me click Just whatever I tell want? Tell us what to look at then. For now, pay attention to the wall. Huh? I said it once already. There's a word written there. On the wall? <laughs> I don't see words. <laughs> Where's the words? Where's the words? The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. Oh my so... god. I don't think it's any kind of dying message. Yeah, yeah that'd be no impressive. shit. It's just too strange. Also, our hands are tied. Yep. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't it sound kind of familiar? Is that Toko's book? Oh. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. 
And at the scene of each crime, the word bloodlust is written in the Did victim's Toko own blood. Did Toko kill for B Byakuya? They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up to them. Oh my god, can we get rid of the both? And what nickname did the internet give to this mysterious serial killer? Let's get rid of the both. Genocide Jack! Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose grisly attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruel killings. Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style? But why would anyone do that? Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack's here in the school? No way! Th there's no way! But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I am surprised as to at their as to their stupidity. <laughs> well, I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah! ah. What is it now? Toko! Hina was pointing toward the entrance to the girls' locker room. Ah. Ah. Toko was the last to arrive, and now she was just standing there. Damn, girl. Why? You got milk spraying everywhere. Get a hold of yourself. Good dunk. Good dunk. <laughs> Good dunk. Good dunk. <laughs> she fainted. That did not sound good. Dunk. What? T Toko. Hina rushed over to the collapsed Toko and started trying to shake her awake. <laughs> like airplane style. Toko, are you okay? Come on, wake up. Oh, that's right. I just remembered what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. Oh, it could be her. She's homophobic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she is that too, apparently. <laughs> so she is hemophobic? I imagine she does not watch too many horror films then. This isn't a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. <laughs> no hemo. <laughs> 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 Lol, no hemo. <laughs> no, I think it should be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like, on purpose. Hmm. Ah, so since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Just a second. Toko, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she'd heard her, Toko suddenly shot awake. And then saw the blood and then passed out again. As in, she literally jumped up from where she was laying. It was such a strange reaction. I was at a total loss for words. She leapt straight up into the air, changing her stance as she did. Whoa! <laughs> oh um, no! Oh my god! Um, that's not the face I was expecting. Um, <laughs> I think I've seen this on a shirt before. This is the face of homophobia. <laughs> <laughs> Ignoring the physical oh, contortions God. she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? huh? What? I'm sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? <laughs> I feel a little <laughs> Toko, are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa! Is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? What the heck? She must have hit her head real hard when she fainted. <laughs> <laughs> the world has a front and a back, a top ending and a bottom, a sea of truth and a web of lies. Wow. This is quite concerning. I mean, she sounds completely different. No, no, no. Everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> I see. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem strangely vacant. It might be best if we take her back to her room for the time being. So, um... I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? Mm -hmm. If you need help, I don't mind. Um... Taka, could you help me? <laughs> 
Ah, uh -uh, she totally ignored me! Very well. You take care of the girl and the rest of us can begin the investigation right away. Can I assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura and Mondo on guard duty again? Hold on a second. Rushing to an investigation? The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Don't make me repeat myself. There is no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Chihiro, Chihiro. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Of course! Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because... Yeah. That's how graduation works! Then it's happened again? Is that what you're saying? That another one of us... Another one of us killed. A fellow classmate? What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Ugh. Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray to mine if you want. Okay. What are you talking about, dude? What a fucking weirdo. Actually, I don't have any either. Sorry. Stop talking. Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? <laughs> I sure did, chum. It's the Monokuma file! Allow me to present the next Monokuma file! I know how much you must be looking forward to it. See ya later! So, please do your very tippy-top best on this investigation! No way! Do we really gotta do another investigation? Examining the corpse of one of our friends. Having to suspect all of our other friends. Why? I hate this. I can't take it anymore. I hate it too! I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Hey! Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to run. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simple object. I am very smart. Have I mentioned that? I'm on Twitter. Facts don't care about your feelings. <laughs> blood is just a liquid. You are very enthusiastic about all of this, are you not? Naturally. How can I not be? If we don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon... What? What, do you want to die? Such Fine, then go off and die somewhere. Right now, go ahead. You're a waste of space. D damn you! A dead body is an object? Piece of shit! Chihiro wasn't an object! Show a little respect or I'll beat some into ya! Calm down. Everyone, stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Byaki has said. K Kyoko! Because... If we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our own lives are forfeit. And if Byakuya is right that Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro, That's right. then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. What? Forget more victims! If we mess this up, we're all dead meat! Hey! Hey! Hold on, hold on! If that's your worry, don't- you don't gotta worry any longer! In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. Huh? What? I don't remember any rule like that. Actually... I just came up with it. I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your lovely student life would all be over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. So then... In that case, why not limit it to one person? Um, well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. <laughs> Just one would totally murder that possibility. Punishment Farewell for point. now. I'll catch you guys at the class trial. Hi, right, bye. I can't say I understand his thinking, but if we can kill up to two people, then one more person's life can still be in danger. Hmm. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You son of a bitch! You need to shut the fuck up! So, um... Well, for now, Taka and me are gonna drop a Toko off at a room. I thought they were already doing that. 
Nice! I'm gonna be dropped off! There is nothing to be done. We have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigation too sweet. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, is that okay? then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but if I want to survive, me and everyone else, we have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigate. First of all, I better check the Monokuma file to see exactly what's going on. The victim was Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated to be around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. Oh, I'm just remembering there was uh, the sounds that... Oh, look at Joy. Oh, the explosion? Yeah, the, the dude heard explosions and Monokuma was like where it could have been a machine gun. Mm. And he said that if a boy went into the girl's locker room, the machine gun would go off. Or vice versa. Right. So... Got it. Do some thoughts on that one. Okay. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. She was killed instantly. Mm. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I gotta do what I gotta do. Nice. <laughs> the nice cracks me up. I mean, it feels uh, wrong every time. Yeah, but that's what makes it like work. That's what yeah. makes it funny. Oh yeah, absolutely. Hmm. Hey, Makoto, like do you have a second? Huh? Did you need something from me? Naturally. Of course. Life without purpose is quite dull, you know. Um, so what do you need? I'm going to let you cooperate with me during my investigation. I hate Biaki so much. Huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent, the same talent which allowed you to solve Sayaka's case. Yeah, it was Kyoko. Solve? Our talent was <laughs> yeah. that we just listened to Kyoko. Solve? No, I just... Stop talking. You seem to have some limited use, which is why I've chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So you're inviting me to come with you? You're doing it in the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't really know what just happened, but it looks like I'll be working with Byakuya on this one. Can I look at the freaking clues now? Is that okay? <clears throat> There's a dumbbell on the floor, and this is a blood stain! Some yogurt got on it. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Hmm. The Monokuma file said a blow to the head with a blunt object is what killed her. Does that mean this dumbbell was actually the murder weapon? That's right. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Nice! Locker room dumbbell added to the truth bullet section in my handbook. All right, we got blood stains on the flout. There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have been splattered with blood during the murder. Totally. Time to check out this poster. That's the moment I've been waiting for. It looks like she tripped. Like, is that what the poster's supposed to look like? Uh, She's like, I ah, fell. shit. I fell at the beach. I fell and my butt crack Why came out. Why are you out. taking a photo of me now? <laughs> the poster's got some blood on it. It must have happened during the murder. <laughs> when else would it have got blood on it? All right, Chihiro. I could feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. That's a little Chihiro's insensitive to say body. next to someone yeah. whose life has literally left Very their body. Strange. But the more I look, the more strange it all seems. This must be Genocide Jack's handiwork. Well, but... What? But we're still not sure he did it. Is that what you want to say? State of Arizona says it looks like she's looking for a contact lens. It does. <laughs> I wonder about that. <laughs> I hate Byakuya so much. The word bloodlust is written on the wall in blood. What's the meaning behind it? Bloodlust. All right, what else we got? We can chat with the, the folks in here. I noticed Kyoko is hiding in the corner there. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You heard Chihiro talk about it, right? Oh, I need to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did, which I guess explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it, but she was a girl after all. Most girls aren't that strong. Oh my god. Fart noise. The sucker behind <laughs> him is just like Makoto's flexing. weak bed pissing ass over here. It's <laughs> like, oh, most girls aren't that strong. I'm gonna go, go piss my Betty again. <laughs> 
God. I would know. I am the peak of manliness. I'm King Piss. <laughs> a bunny. <laughs> but women, am I right? I don't know, man. Haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Chihiro's complex. I can't help wondering what it might be. Nice! Mondo's account was added to the truth bullet section. Great. All right, Sakura, speaking of women who aren't that strong. <laughs> yeah, let's talk to the weakest woman here. Hold on. I use this locker room all the time. Now, it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. She was very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her. Makoto, I need you to think for like a split second about the fact that there's blood on the poster. Just like a wee And on the dumbbells bit. and on the ground. A wee bit. <laughs> so like, I don't think. Well, I still think she came here on her own by choice. What makes you say that? Hmm. She's been talking a lot lately about how she wanted to get stronger. Oh my God. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But why? She's but a woman, she's right? She's a woman, women don't exercise. <laughs> but according to the Monokuma file, apparently she was killed around two in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Perhaps. Hina or myself are usually in the locker room during the day. So she was probably avoiding it then. Oh my God, there's a cat fight going on. Avoiding it. Oh, that's you. Avoiding it? Mm. Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night? However. Perhaps. But it's difficult for me to imagine she would have come alone. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but that she also would have come with someone else. Yeah, Makoto, that's literally... Uh, I have big brain, which is why I am said. boy. <laughs> I put it together myself. <laughs> it's a possibility, I think. <laughs> Makoto just taking whatever a woman says and then saying it again. <laughs> and I mean, being like, like, I've solved it. I thought of this. Nice. I did this. Sakura's account. And I also pair that with Byakuya being like, you know how you solved the first case. And Kyoko's yeah. just like, what the fuck? I'm right here, dude. I did this. Now I believe it's about time for us to move on. Like a work meeting. Huh? Already? What? New clues won't magically appear by standing around here. We need to check every aspect of this case. That's true, but... Let's go. If you're satisfied, let's hurry up and proceed. Right. He's so pushy. I got caught up with the wrong person this time. After I solved the last case single-handedly. So, this is our next location. Huh? This place is related to the investigation? Figure it out for yourself. It's no fun if you don't, right? We yeah, gotta talk the about worst. the gun! Maybe this gun was used to... No, impossible. If that were true, Chihiro would be riddled with holes. <laughs> Even if Chihiro was being murdered, I bet the Mastermind was just sitting there watching. They know what's happening. They're still forcing us to go through with this. Bam. Rosewood figurine says, this show uh, is the epitome of the competent female lifting the male pro, uh, pro tag up yeah. trope. It's impressive. Yeah. There are a bunch of different pool related items on the shelf which have nothing to do with the case. If I remember right, this card reader is meant to work with our handbooks, right? Do you have an issue with it? If so, you should take it up with Monokuma. He said that and quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Did you call for me? He read that. Has he become domesticated? That's right. It seems that Makoto has a question for you. You need something? Sure, what's up? Um, well, it's just about this card reader. Yep. Yes, the card readers have all been designed to interface with your ebooks. You can only enter the locker room corresponding to the gender listed in your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through all the doors unlocked, correct? Unbelievable. If there were some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl... Okay. 
the ceiling mounted Gatling gun would initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. Hmm. And the school regulations prohibit anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Of course. Correct, correct. Correctly correct. So then, that means only girls can go in the girls' locker room and only boys can go in the boys' locker room. Wow. Uh, Makoto, dude. You're a real big brain. The freaking neurons are firing today, baby. In uh. other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means, hey, Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? <laughs> my organs or my skeleton? My brain? Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Chihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have been able to get in there. So in other words... As such, the killer must be one of the girls. Did I get it right? Such ignorance. Good lord, you're simple. But am I wrong? You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. I've assumed what you were thinking and then told you you were wrong. <laughs> Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. Wow, that's some real Taskmaster-ass loophole. Yeah. Yo! I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Tagami family. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulations. Hm. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. You're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course that I am. You know what, everyone? Treat yourself like the main course that you are. Not like a puny little appetizer for a different meal. It's okay? the only good thing that Monokuma has said this whole Be game. the main course of Be your own dinner. the main course. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Yep. Got it? Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole, but in order to borrow something from someone, then that means someone would have to loan it. So, uh... So sleepy. Just listening to you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Biakia and get your poop together! Is Makoto getting dumber? I think he is. Or else I'll charge you with criminal negligence. No more questions! Figure out the rest on your own damn self! That's fine. <laughs> well, <laughs> I know you are unfortunately lacking in mental faculties, so I'll fill you in myself. Munchie Doo said if I were a main course meal, I'd be soup. <laughs> <laughs> very funny. Let's head to the main hall. The main hall? What's the main hall? That'll help you understand what's going on. The nice. diner? The dining hall was the dining hall. We came to the main hall. So, what are we looking for here? Your death. Does that mean I have to figure it out for myself? <laughs> but I can't! Let me call one of the women. The hunk of metal blocking the entrance seems like some kind of machine. Pshew! A surveillance camera, and there's what I can only assume is a gun attached to it. It's so chilling. Not this mammal said Da Vinci. Da Vinci? He really does have some Da Vinci energy. There's Mona a mailbox Lisa? here. Mona Could there Lisa? be something inside? It's an e handbook? Mwah! No, wait, there's three of them. But what are they doing here? Well, I wonder, Makoto, how many students do you think is the, the, the big get kill so far? Who's dead? So, you finally found them. Huh? Did you know these were here, Byakuya? <laughs> I happened to find them by chance myself the other day. I threw it before I came in the room. It seems there's a system in place where the handbooks of dead students get delivered to this mailbox. So then, so then, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> so then. So then, these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka? <laughs> you can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turned on one of the handbooks, and when I did, I immediately turned on one of them. They weren't expecting it. You're right. This is Sayaka's handbook. Here, Sayaka. <laughs> I just want to say I've been watching some of the Game Grumps playthrough of this. Mm -hmm. Like, not past where we've played, but just watching it up to this point. And um, 
Aaron's got an ongoing bit because Sayaka's last name is is Mizono. He thought it sounded Italian, so he does like a like an Italian accent for her and always like throws in lines about her talking about pasta and pizza, and it cracked me up. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> Now do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Mama's ragu is what the chat's saying. <laughs> She's making a meatballs in heaven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You yeah, should. Okay. Yeah, we already heard about this. Yeah, this loaning. Like, yeah, really yeah. active yeah. loaning. Yeah. Got it. I see. Yeah, now I understand. Nice. Main Hall e-handbooks add truth bullets. Hmm? Hold on a second. What's wrong? Very strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. <gasps> is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook showed Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that won't turn on must be Leon's, right? I see. It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. <laughs> That's, yeah, yeah he, did. he did. I remember that. Pummeled with baseballs. Excuse me, Joy is trying to get Hi, Joy. down. The memory of it came flooding back. That cruel punishment that the mastermind... Oh, Joy, Joy sped yeah, it Joy, up. Joy, Joy continued. <laughs> the execution that the mastermind concocted. A cruel, heartless death. Oh, wait. So who's, who's You're right. nobody? It wouldn't be surprising for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! What? That e-handbook is essential to student life here! Crucial, integral, instrumental, a super big deal! There's no way it would break that easily! But it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't freaking break! But it was like 12 baseballs at least! <laughs> It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure, and it's waterproof up to 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit it with, it wouldn't do crap! Even dozens of baseballs, though? Oh, but, uh, even my amazing handbook does have a single weak point. It does? I can't hear you! Hi, Alice. It's a secret! I wouldn't want you to go breaking any more handbooks. Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm, hard to say. You know what I think? I think his handbook isn't actually broken. But you might ask, how could that be? Goodbye! Leaving the question hanging in the air, Monokuma disappeared. What just happened? Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's an undeniable fact that it's not turning on. That's fine. Well, I don't see any connection to the case, so it doesn't matter for now. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. Put it in the truth bullets! <laughs> okay then, this should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro! Hm. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? What are you talking about, Byakuya? Should we end it here, my dear? Oh shit, it's time, isn't it? Yeah. It's a good time to end it, I guess. Since we're uh, about between... to start the investigation. Yeah. Gonna save my game. Gonna save, save my, my game. Save my game on the whole computer. Nice. Uh, this is gonna be the end of the stream. This is it. Uh, can we raid Morklimpius? He's a friend of Bijan and a really great streamer. Okay. Any friend of Bijan is a friend of mine. Okay. So we can stream Mork Morklimpius. Okay. Why not? Sounds good to okay. me. Okay. I'll set that up right now. Morklimpius. I think I did it wrong. <laughs> Morklimpius. I did it right! Yeah! Hell yeah! All right, we're gonna raid this person. Again, we don't know this person, so, you know. 
But I'm sure it's going to be fine. I'm sure it's fine. I just need to, I just feel like, you know, before anyone goes accusing us of endorsing some stuff that we haven't vetted. Yeah. Stream's over. Everyone enjoy the raid. Thank you for watching. We'll be back uh, with a Droppy stream tomorrow during the day, I assume. Oh, dang. I don't know what the stream will be, but yeah. there will probably be one. Yeah. So look forward to that. We'll see you all later. Goodbye. Bye.